Hi guys, my name is Nidhi and welcome to my channel Damn Glam. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you get that Dyson Airwrap hair like really luscious and voluminous curls without using Dyson Airwrap hair. I'll be using hair straightener instead. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So first thing first, the straightener that I'm going to use to curl my hair today is from Hair Walls. It has got titanium plates. So a tip for y'all, if your hair strand is really very thick or maybe curly, I will definitely suggest you to use titanium plated hair straighteners because it uh, heats up real quick and it gets the job done real quick. So yes, do not use ceramic plated hair straightener if your hair strand is curly or thick or if your hair is a uh, really very thin or hair strand is really very delicate i will definitely suggest you to use ceramic plated hair straightener as it transfers minimal heat so the straightener that i'm using has got temperature settings and i'm going to set the temperature up to 200 degrees celsius and i'm going to wait till it get heats up till 200 degrees celsius so while we are waiting, I'm going to apply Matrix Biolade Smoothing Serum to my hair as I don't own any heat protectant. If you own any heat protectant, you can use it instead of serum. So before we jump into the part where I'm actually showing you guys how I curl my hair, I'd like to give you guys a little demo on both my right and left sides. So all you gotta do is separate a chunk of your hair, uh, say about a half inch or so. And always remember this, the thicker your chunk is going to be, the softer your curls are going to be. The thinner your chunk is going to be, the tighter your curls are going to be. So I'm going to show you guys in slow motion so that you can get a better understanding of the motions that I'm giving. Now start engaging the chunk of your hair leaving a little bit distance from the roots just like I'm doing in this video. And twist it in upward and outward direction till the point you feel like you won't be able to twist it any further with your single hand. Now hold your straightener with other hand and continue the twist motion till you feel like you have completed the whole imaginary circle. Now once you feel like you have completed the whole imaginary circle, start pulling the straightener in outward and downward direction. Now the speed should be uniform and slow because if you're going to do it faster then your curls are going to be awkward and really irregular which you're going to get to see later on in this video. Now once you reach near the end Support the chunk of your hair with other hand just like I'm doing in this video and let your hair dislodge naturally while you're giving the motion. So this was the motion demonstration on my right side. Now I'm going to move on to my left side and going to show you pretty similar things. Now once we are done with the demonstration part, I'm actually going to show you how I curl my hair. So first I'm going to middle part my hair and divide it into two big sections. So you need to work on one side at a time. So first I'm going to work on my right side and then I'll be moving on to my left side. So each side again I'm going to part my hair into five different sections starting from bottom moving towards top. So this is our first section and the bottommost section so because it is very small so I'm just going to divide it into two sections and start working on each section. So as you can see instead of going slow I went really very fast and the curl has come up really kind of awkward. So yes this is the common mistake which 80% of us tends to do. We speed up the styling process thinking that the lesser the time uh, the straightener is going to come in contact with our hair, the lesser the damage is going to cause, the damage has already been caused. 
so concentrate on styling rather than speeding up the process Now this is the section number 2 and as you can see it is quite a lot bigger than the previous section so i'm going to divide it into 4 to 5 sections and going to work on them now as we move further you will get to see that some motions are starting from outward direction and some motions are starting from inward direction that is because doing alternate motions are going to give you volume and curls to your hair Now always remember the sections that are framing your face need to be curled in outward direction just to get that softer and more natural curl look or whatever. Now again as you can see we are working on the section that is framing our face so I'm giving my straight in the motion that is away from my face not towards my face away from my face that is outward direction. coming towards the section number 4 again i'm going to divide it into four equal sections and going to work on it now as you can see we are going towards the top section now top two sections are really very important as it is going to frame your face your rest of the curls and your head your everything so yes work on it slowly don't go really fast thinking that you're going to damage your hair damage has already been caused concentrate on styling always remember to wiggle your curl a little bit after it gets dislodged from the straightener to get into a proper form So finally we have come towards the topmost section that is the last and the fifth section again i'm going to divide it into four parts now again your speed and motions should be slow and steady by slow doesn't mean that you are going to burn your hair i suppose you're mature enough to understand how slow you got to go
so i'm done curling my right side and as you can see this is how my curled hair looks like and this is how my straight hair looks like that is before curling so i'm quickly going to move on to my other side and i'm going to do it off camera and i'll see you in a bit so i'm done curling my hair and this is how it looks like i'm going to let it cool for a few minutes and then i'm going to brush my hair to make it look more softer and then i'm going to apply a little bit of serum to my hair to make my curls look a little bit shiny and luscious so this is my final look and i really love how the curls turned out to be I hope you found this video helpful and do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel I'll see you in my next video till then bye